and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a review on the Subculture palette by Anastasia. It's so beat up after this look. As you guys can see I have used every single shade in the palette just so you guys can see whether you guys like the colours or not and just so I can help you guys with buying the palette or not. So I've been out and about for a few hours now. I would think around four to five and this is how my makeup looks after a day's wear. So by the time you guys see this video, this palette will be available tomorrow, 1st August, in online stores such as Sephora or Ulta. But anyways, let's just jump straight into it. I haven't seen it yet. Axis is a little bit, um, beat up. <gasps> oh, that's scaring the shit out of me. Anyways, it's going in as a really strong black. Did not expect Rowdy to be that pigmented. Anyways, I'm just going to go in with Edge. This yellow colour to lighten everything up. Edge is really nice. Edge is fully pigmented. It's so hard. It's not pink. But apparently it's pink. I'm just going to get a little brush and just drag this one out. In the complete corner of my eye, I'm going to be going in with Axis. Axis is so pigmented. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm in love. Oh my lord. I'm just joining it up to the line with Rowdy. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. And then inside, right here, I will be going in with All Star again using the same brush. Okay, so this time I only lightly packed it on because I want the buildability. I'm just going to go in with the concealer and just dab it on a little bit just so I don't look a little bit psycho. But anyways, I'm going to be using a compact brush first and see how Cube works. Ooh! Oh, what the hell? No, guys, it's pink. You guys won't be able to see in the camera, but I'll take a photo with like my thing and I'll show you. It's actually pink. Once you, it's like, it's pinker than I, it's, you can't tell if it's that pink, but like, it's pink. So let's see if it goes on pink or not. It doesn't go on at all. Okay, turns out I'm using my fingers. Whoa, it's really duochrome though. I don't know if you guys can see it from that far, but Okay, so I'm not really happy at all with how much I have to dig in. I'm like fully forcing it in and there's like not much product in the sliders coming out. Oh my god. I, I, guys, I'm digging in, like digging in and literally nothing is coming out. I'm just going to be sitting here all day. Okay, can you guys see how much is packed on right there? Can you guys literally see? It's a gorgeous colour, don't get me wrong. It's just like, where's the pigment? 
I'm gonna show you guys how much I've actually put on my finger. Like, I have a cut on my finger. Oopsies. Oh. Holy shit, it changes colors. Guys, it changes colors. I'm gonna go ahead with Roxy and blend it out into like what I've done so far. It's so powdery once you like pick it up. It's super powdery. Like it just blows off. They're so pigmented. It's so translucent, like you can just see my cut thingy straight through. gonna go in with untamed untamed in my crease and just go over it again but anyways right here in the corner I'll be going in with adorn this one here this reminds me of the shimmers in the Huda beauty palette oh this one has good pigment this one's really pigmented I put like nothing on Okay, the ones that I haven't used are Fudge, Destiny, Mercury, and Electric. It just looks like I haven't blended with this duochrome cube. I don't like the fact that there's no matte light colour just to highlight your brow bone. But the only thing I can really go in with is the one that I use for the transition colour, which is Dawn. Yeah, it's not really a highlight. Okay, um, in a corner highlight, I'm going to be using Electric. I don't know how this will go because this is another duochrome shadow. But I'm trying to use every colour. <gasps> it's yellow. I don't know how I feel with a yellow in a corner highlight, to be honest. At least it's pigmented. It's a little bit funky though. That's definitely pigmented. Holy damn. Oh, I'm just gonna go back with the dawn and just like put it down. Um, I'm just gonna get this colour, this one. This was Axes, I believe. I've used so many colours I've forgotten. Axes, and I'm just gonna bring that down. Um, now I'm gonna go and get um All Star right um in the missing area right there. I'm gonna go in with New Wave. Then I'm going to get New Wave again and just use it and just to blend it out all of these colours in. Now I've literally just like lost my colours. I don't know why. Maybe I blended too much. Maybe it just brush. I feel like these colours brush off a lot. So I have to go back and add the colours in. I think I'm just going to go in with Destiny. Destiny is like the one colour I haven't used. I'm just going to go in with Destiny. And just try and put it on top of that and use it to blend out. But I don't know how ugly the colour is because it looks ugly. I'm sorry. Wow, the colour is actually gorgeous. I'm using the Tarte eyeliner. Oh, I haven't used Fudge either. I really need to use all of the colours though, because look, I've literally used every single other colour. Okay, so I'm going to just put Mercury on there, and put Fudge in the crease, and just pray for good luck. There you go. That didn't really make a difference, but I just want to know, just want to have the satisfaction of using all the colours. That's good. Destiny, you just let it like, it'll just mesh it into one colour. Just like let it blend out. So I'm just going to go in with Axis again and just, I just need that green back. There you, go. you can see Destiny right there in between the yellow, in between the edge and. I, I always keep on forgetting how pigmented this is. 
Bloody hell. So that is the look on one eye. I don't know if it's like fully pink on camera, but in real life it is, when you look straight on, it's pink and then white, but when you turn, it's pink here. Geochrome. But anyways, I'm just going to go and replicate that on the other eye and I'll be right back. So I just did the other eye, put some mascara on, and this is the finished look. I also cleaned up the edges. Now I will go and just do a full, like, quick review of how I feel about this palette. First of all, it's so beat up. It's so beat up. Oh my lord. The mattes, they're gorgeous. They are very pigmented, especially the yellows and the greens. They're super pigmented. They blend really easily. Cube, look, it's duochrome. I've like, I have to dig, dig so deep into that just to get the colour. Uh, whatever. I'm not really a fan of Cube. On it, it looks really gorgeous. But as you can see straight on, my eyes, in the middle, I've only added Cube literally only cube and it looks like I've added pink and white which I'm not the biggest fan of because it doesn't like I feel like my look isn't complete if you get what I mean Dawn and Electric they are gorgeous I've used Electric in my inner corner as you've seen and I love it it applied on really easily same with Adorn cube is just the only fuzzy one Regarding blending, they all blend really easily, however, the colour does get wiped away more than I would have expected, so just be aware of that. And it's really powdery, I just feel like it's been milled to the point it's extremely fine. But apart from that, I love it. Sorry, I just had to add this thing in. It's been like the end of the day, but anyways. Another thing about this palette is... There's actually been a formula change, not many people know about that and it's kind of sad that the price is still the same, which I'm, even though I'm guessing that the formula is a little bit cheaper because the modern renaissance one I guarantee is so velvety, uh, velvety and it just feels like heaven and yeah it's kind of just disappointing that they didn't point that out. For example in here the main ingredient is talc, however in the modern renaissance the main ingredient is Mika or Mika, it actually says at the back the ingredients and you guys can easily see that which is kind of disappointing and misleading but apart from that the palette is absolutely gorgeous and I love it. I just don't like the fact that there was an extra layer on a cube and I really had to dig. You guys can clearly see how much I've dug into cube right there. I just didn't like that fact that there was like an extra weird layer on the top. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, here are my social media links. I will like put them on the page right now. And or like after this. I don't know. They're also in the description but down below. So make sure to check those out. Really appreciate it. And thank you so much. Let me know if you guys want to buy this palette. Don't want to buy this palette after this review. I'm curious but honestly I love it. So have a great day and please make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. It would help so much. Have a great day.